Hey guys, welcome back to another Bible read. I know I haven't done a Bible read in a while, but you know, in the summertime, I really just can't do it because you know, I just you can't be alone as it just helps if I'm alone. Uh, my dog's back there, as you can see. But today, we're going to be talking about um, a Bible verse, uh, Romans 8 28. And what it says is, and we know that all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. So, you might think, you know, I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian, and things don't go good for me. My mom died the other day, or um, whatever. You know, stuff like that, of course, we might think those are bad things. But God, you know, he, he'll think those are bad things, too. But... You got to know that bad things can lead to good things. Even though they look horrible at the moment, you know, those things might be good for you if you don't even know it. And um, they might lead you to something that you wouldn't even see coming. And that's what's good about God. You know, he, he has a timing for everything. It might look horrible, like it's never going to get better. Uh, you might just be depressed and at the end of the road, but um, anything that God allows in your life and you have God in your life and his purpose is on you, it's gonna turn out good. And an uh, example for that is actually uh, Jonah, you know, in Genesis, uh, where he, uh, you know, his brothers were jealous of him because he was the most favorite child and um, so one day they threw him in a pit and um, eventually some people came by and they sold him t to the people for, as a slave. And um, if you didn't know the story, you know, they had him as a slave and, and um, you know, Pharaoh's wife tried to, uh, you know, mess around with him and he didn't stand for it. So after he didn't stand for it, uh, Pharaoh's wife, you know, said to Pharaoh that he assaulted her, and Pharaoh was mad, and uh, he sent him to jail for a long, long time. I think it was like 10 years. I would have to look back at that, but, you know, it was a long time, and there was only two other people, and, you know, and then after those two people went, they, he was alone. And um, a good movie that you all should watch, I love the Jonah story, but uh, there's a movie I don't remember the name, but there was a movie about that. Y'all should uh, watch it. It's really good. And it kind of shows the story, uh, you know, a little bit in detail. But like I'm saying, eventually he got out of prison and he got, he turned into um, the food barrier or whatever. And there was a big, big, um, like a shortage of food in Egypt. So his brothers went to Egypt to get some food uh, from, you know, their supply. And they didn't recognize Jonah. And Jonah recognized them though. And he was about to, you know, kick him out, say, no, I'm not giving you no food. Why would I give you food? But, you know, God put that in his heart to be merciful. So he, uh, you know, said, he revealed himself and they were like, we're so sorry please don't hurt us, and he didn't hurt them, and he, he forgave them, forgave them, and that just shows you that even though he went through so much, he went through to prison, he went to, um, he went through being a slave and getting betrayed by his, their brothers, and the brothers actually told their, his father that he died from wolves, and, you know, his father was really sad, and, and, um, but he went through, through so much things, but it all turned out for good. Even though it was horrible, it turned out for good. And you might be, you know, in a problem or you might be stuck somewhere that you feel like you can't get any out. You know, just know that God loves you and he will turn out for good. Of course, you know, um, some things he can't, you got to 
follow his path, of course. You know, don't give up on God. Don't, you know, because if you don't follow his path, if, of course, it won't turn out for good. You know, but that's today's lesson, and hope you all enjoyed it. Just know that, you know, y'all might be struggling with something, and uh, with life, with money, anything. Um, know that if you believe and trust in God, he will, uh, he will, it will all turn out good for you, so. Oh, I almost forgot, um, I got a little story about that, um, so, so this, there's a preacher that told me this, um, and it was about a fish, so he said there, there was a long tank, there was a big long tank, and this person put a fish on one side, and then put a clear divider in the middle, so the fish couldn't get through to this side, and on this side there was a lot of stuff that the fish would like, and then on this side, it was just nothing but food. Um, and he kept the divider there for a month, a month. And the fish tr kept on trying, kept on trying to get out of that divider. Just but, 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 couldn't get in. And eventually gave up. And, and when the month was over, the person took the divider out. And the fish didn't even try to get out. He, you know, because he tried so much, he just gave up. He, he was like, oh, forget it. I, I, I know the divider's there. Because, you know, it was clear and he couldn't see it. And, but he had a free way to get to the other side of the tank with all that cool stuff, but he didn't. And that just shows like a, that's an example or a story uh, resembling our, you know, what some people do, you know, when God puts hard things in their, in their life and they feel like they can't get over that stumble or, um, you know, they just can't, you know, they just can't get through. Um, and when God, you know, reveals a path and, you know, opens a path for them to get out of that situation, they don't go because they're blind and they just gave up and they're, they're not trying anymore. So, uh, you know, just try and believe and trust in God and wait for his opening out of whatever situation you're going through. And and it will go and it will happen for good. Like I said in that uh, Romans 8, 28, and who, we know that... In all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. And if you're asking, how do, how do I know I love God? And that sounds really simple. Oh, I love God. But you can't just say, I love God. You got to actually love him. And how to love him is you have to, well, you have to try to obey his commandments. And, of course... We can't do that. We're not perfect. We can't even get close to doing that. But we have to try. If you're not trying and you're just doing it, you know, and you're not having any, like, what am I doing? Like, uh, if you're not, you know, and there's ways of, of course, there's temptations of doing stuff. Like, someone might make, me, make you mad or um, temptation to look, look at something you shouldn't anything but you know there's videos that you can watch that can help you or you just pray for god you know to show you something and um you know but just try you know don't yeah let's say you sin and then when you get tempted again you just say i'll sinned already i might as well just go and sin that just shows that you're not really trying and you know you have to have hope you you know even if you sin once God still loves you he loves you even though if you sinned a hundred times 70 you know he would still love you and he would forgive you if you asked for it and that just you know tells you that you can redeem yourself and you can keep on trying, even though you you might mess up again. Um, it's not going to be a perfect repented repentance. You need to repent, but you have to keep on trying. You have to keep on keep on trying. And um, if you fail, try again, and then just pray for a opening and a um, 
to say help from God to get from that. Um, hey guys, um, so I forgot to add something in the last video. I know I'm, I, I changed my story and everything, but um, so when it says, and we know that all things God works for the good of those who love him, I'm saying all. And I just, I just made this little part because I feel like some people would like, but my situation is so bad. No, no one can fix it. He can't fix it. All, and we know all things that in all, wait, and we know that in all things God works for, for the good. Not just some, not just a little, not me, you know, a tiny little bit. All. So everything will work for good if you're a true believer and a true uh, father of Christ. So I just wanted to add that thing, uh, and here's the outro, I guess. Goodbye, guys!